All right, everyone. So today is the beginning of the main series of this channel called Desk to Data Center. My crazy idea is that we start with a little bit of gear on a desk and we slowly upgrade and upgrade and upgrade until we have what is essentially a functioning data center. Uh, the main purpose is to help educate those who maybe don't get a lot of experience with the data center related equipment before they get their first uh, real IT job or their sysadmin job, their, their networking position job, their security job. And maybe they want to get a little bit more information on what goes into the planning of a data center, the building of a data center, the, the applications and software and systems that run in a data center and all the things of that nature. So today we start that series with episode one and we're calling this episode Rack and Stack. So this is where we are rolling on our rack. We are putting our equipment in and then we are labeling, cabling, powering and prepping for installs, configurations and things of that nature. Now, one of the first things you want to do before you ever actually rack and stack is do a diagram of what you're going to do. The more you get used to diagramming and documenting before you actually do the build out, the better your end product is going to be. OK, so this is what we're going to use for that. This is called Cisco Packet Tracer. This is a wonderful little product that shown to me by one of my colleagues, and it actually does quite a lot of really cool stuff related to full data center, even like home user deployments and things of that nature. So what we're going to do is we are going to show the absolute the logical path of what we're going to do and then i'll show you the actual physical equipment we're going to use so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to build down our physical environment right so let's go here and we're going to look for here we go cable modem so we have our internet we're going to start here at the internet this is where we're coming from and then our internet is going to talk to our wonderful home router loop right and then this is our our personal home router we do not have the funds currently for a commercial enterprise grade router worth purchasing so we're going to put this in here uh, for right now and then off of that router we are going to grab a do 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 there are called multi-layer switches we will just use a regular switch we'll use a 3650 we actually have a dell 3850 let's imagine that this is a 3850 okay <laughs> and then we have some end devices. So we have my PC, we have a server, and we even have a tablet, which is going to be our Steam Deck. Our Steam Deck is going to come into this too. Um, so you can see that the tablet, the Steam Deck is already connected to the Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is working. Um, but we have to do a couple other things to get other pieces working. We have to cable them, right? We can actually cable stuff in here and they even have an automatic cabling option. So we're, we're definitely going to connect a cable modem to our home router because this is our firewall. This is everything that this is what protects us from the outside world. Scary, scary, scary. Um, and then we're going to run a cable from the home router to the multi-layer switch right there. Now you'll notice that this is red right now. <laughs> That's because in this software, you have to put power supplies in your switch or it won't boot up. Uh, while that's booting up, we'll continue cabling the rest of our equipment. We are going to run one cable from here to here so that my pc goes through this switch to get to this router to get to the internet and then we're actually going to run there's one there's two which is going to be hard to see we'll stretch it out like this and then no available ports okay anyway now we can't do that third port but we will do it physically so this is our layout so our network traffic is, did we turn the server back on? Nope, we didn't turn that on. <laughs> we want that network traffic to flow. So there it goes. Um, this is our layout. So our internet's gonna come into our router. Our switch is gonna talk to our router out of one of its ports. And then it's gonna talk to our personal PC and our server on other ports. The server is gonna have three, even though we only have two here. I blame the, uh, the lack of configuration that Cisco Packet Tracer has. And then our Steam Deck is going to connect via the Wi-Fi. And then all of our other Wi-Fi devices are not going to be unchanged, but we will get a new IP here and we'll have fresh IPs here in VLANs. And we'll get into VLANs in the next episode where we discuss um, configuring this 3850. So take a look at what we've got over here. You can see our Steam Deck, our switch and our server are all there. And we already have everything cabled. Uh, you'll notice that this is extremely messy. If this was a real enterprise server situation, all these cables would be properly run. They would be properly labeled and we'll go into those things in later videos. That's pretty much it for rack and stack. You can see that we have the gear stacked. We don't have a rack. 
Uh, we've got power, we've got networking, can, you know, plugged in and cabled, and we have our document to go on. And this will be our logical diagram. They do have physical diagrams as well, but we won't be using that. And we'll take this information to go into our next episode. All right, thanks for tuning in. And that is the end of episode one, Desk to Data Center, Rack and Stack. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're interested in this content. And let me know more about uh, what you want to see and what you don't want to see and where I messed up and where I, I taught you something new. So thanks, and we'll see you next time.